I think I found one of the best uh, to-do lists of all time. Um, it's Notion, and this is not a sponsored post. This is a tool that I've used in the last uh, six months now, and I absolutely love it. Um, before that, I have actually used Airtable and then Trello. Um, if you guys don't know already, I am a program manager by day. Um, I'm a YouTuber at night. So basically, I've been a program manager for the last decade, and I've used all enterprise tools, um, Jira, version one, Rally even, and also use like consumer versions, which is Trello, uh, Wonderlist, um, and you name it, I've used it. And I feel like Notion is so flexible. It's like Airtable and Trello put in one. And that's how I feel about Notion. Notion. And I know they have a free version as well as like an enterprise version as well that's paid. And so I'm going to share with you um, some of the pros and the cons and I'm going to walk you through some of my workflows. Now the video I'm going to show you is a little bit older and I've changed uh, my Notion setup just a little bit but it pretty much encompasses everything that you basically need to know when you're starting Notion. But just imagine Airtable but a little bit more souped up. Um, so stay tuned, I'm gonna walk you through Notion. Notion is basically a to-do list. It's a database uh, that is customizable to what you need it to be, whether it's uh, note-taking or you want boards or you want a spreadsheet. Notion can do it all for you. It's all cloud-based, um, so there's no saving to your desktop or anything like that. It's saved in the cloud and they have free versions as well as paid versions. I'm using the uh, free version and it's been working really, really well for me. So as you guys know, I am a program manager um, by trade, it's important to me to have a list of things I need to do um, in my side hustle and make sure that things are prioritized the way they, they should be so that I can move the meter in the margins of life that I have to basically build up uh, this business on the side, okay? And what I want to show you guys is how I use it to manage my content uh, so that I'm focused. So what I do is I create um, different um, channels that I have and basically have a to-do list of ideas that I have. And so I've got this Kanban board. Uh, it's basically like Trello, if you will, and what it allows me to do is actually put information in the list of things what of what I want to say. So I'm going to start with basically showing you all around um, Notion so that you can kind of understand how I have it set up. And it's going to be specific to creating blog content and managing that as well as YouTube content. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go through my setup. I use Notion for both my personal to-do list as well as for um, anything that has to do with my side hustle, which is a lot. And so what you'll notice here on the left panel um, is all the different things that I have. I have manifestations. I know it sounds really woo-woo, but I basically like to create goals and also have this vision um, that I'm trying to achieve for my life. And so um, manifestations started like back, I don't know, a year or two ago, and it's been working out really well for me. So that's why I continue to do that. So basically every day I have a template that I basically put my goals on. Um, I have my personal home to-do list, groceries, kids, logins for school. I have four kids, and so I just have to manage that. Um, and then anything that deals with my career. So then I have my um, goals for my business. And so here you can see that I've got all of these things uh, regarding uh, my my content creation process. And so this is by week and this is new um, to actually like one month new where I'm managing creating content every single day uh, each week for one of these items. OK. And so you'll also see that I have like trackers for um, RPM for my ad revenue and Pinterest as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the specific stuff for content creation. So, for example, for my mom's blog um, that we're managing, this is the Kanban board that I have for her. And so I have all of these different columns and it's really easy to create these columns um, in Notion. And so what uh, I do is I have all these ideas and then I vet them with my mom to see if she'll want to cook <laughs> the blog, the content for the blog. And so um, these are the things that she She's planning on clicking next, um, things I've um, done SEO wise and content that I've created. And then so it just moves from left to right in this content. And so that's the goal behind all of this is moving content from left to right. OK, but if I go ahead and click on new, OK, and you can see here that I've got all of the, these different things um, for each blog post that I have to go do. So let's say I was writing something about rice. OK, and I've got a category. I've got categories here. Does it fit in one of these categories? The publish date, the time. And what this is, is metadata for that blog post. And so what I'm trying to do is make sure that I have um, all of this different metadata so that whenever I have time to go bulk update the content. So let's say I always skip, I don't know, making the titles pretty or I always skip. Um, doing the interlinking to other blog posts, like I can go back and do bulk edits uh, when I have time to do those bulk edits, okay? And so that's what this is. And so for every blog post, I also have this template. And 
uh, a template is allows you to basically create uh, templated forms. I know that sounds really meta, but here, let me just show you. So here is uh, the template for each blog post. This is exactly what we do for all recipe blog posts. And so I have all the keywords and all that in there. And it's basically formatted and templatized uh, so that I can basically just copy and paste it into WordPress. And then I also have um, this template in here for Pinterest that I add to each of the different images. And so the way that you create templates, right, is you go ahead and go click on new and then new template. And then let's say this is um, a notion template for YouTube. And I wanted to, let's say type um, YouTube example, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out of there. And then when I click on new again, click on this, you see that um, here notion template for YouTube that's available, I can click on it and it basically shows up in here, which is amazing. So um, if you, so I have a template for blog posts, but I also have a template for YouTube videos. So if I go to this thing, Nickerson one, um, this is the channel that you're watching. I can go ahead and click on um, this new one, right? And then you can see all of the different um, templates that I have. Now, this stuff that I'm showing you, I got from Thomas Frank's YouTube video as well as Sarah Dietschy's video. This I think I got from Sarah Dietschy's video because she had an amazing way. She was organizing her YouTube content, um, her tech points, her story that she's gonna tell on the YouTube video, uh, the video metadata as well as this video description. I got this all from her and it's really amazing and it makes it easier for me to create content like this for you guys um, because normally uh, before having Notion and having these templates, I would be like spinning my wheels and trying to figure out the stand in the process for creating the content. Now it's all right there and I can continue to iterate as I learn things and add to that template. So it's not like a one size fits all where you do it and then you have to redo it all over again next time. Um, you basically iterate on it and it'll continue to um, be there for you so that like, let's say you learn something about lead magnets and you want to add lead magnets in there you could do that using this process, um, which is amazing. So I've got all of my different ventures in here. So all my blogs, all of my different YouTube channels, the analytics, all of that stored in here. And what's really great about, um, let me just show you the thing that Kristen wants. So this is like the Kanban view, right? And then if I go and I just wanted to see a table view of it, I can do that. I can see all of the table view in here. So these are all the videos that um, I've created and up to here, these are things that I'm planning on creating. And so that's what this is, is the ability to create views and so I can also see a uh, calendar view as well. And it's really easy to create these views um, right in Notion. And uh, there is a free version in Notion, but if you want to start sharing um, some of these uh, different lists, then that's when it will start to cost money. So just a heads up. And uh, obviously like for my kids and all that, I would never spend money for them to kind of manage this because they're all under the age of 10. Otherwise I'd give them their own like Notion account um, that I can access, but that costs money. So I, I just rather just keep that there. But overall, this is how I use Notion. Um, I create templates quite a bit. Um, it allows me as a program manager to manipulate this when I need to, when the process isn't working or I need to add something to my process, I can easily do that in here. So for example, if I go to the table view, right? And let's say I want to now track on, I don't know, uh, comments. I can do that and then I can change the type. So this text right here. So let's say I could, I wanted to track the number of uh, comments on a given day. I can do that. So that is, in a nutshell, how I uh, utilize uh, YouTube. And so what I also do is um, kind of manage like career stuff. So um, in my nine to five, if I have a big win or something um, at a high level, then I will go ahead and jot that down. If I'm learning new tech, I have notes for that. So let me just show you that real quick. So I, um, at one point, wanted to learn JSON. So I had like um, notes in there. Well, <laughs> obviously I didn't get very far, but like Python, um, I've got notes in here that I can copy and, and just learn um, and, and just create notes basically on it. So that's what this is um, in a nutshell. I hope you love that video. Um, I know that Notion is my personal to-do list as well as a way that I manage all the content creation for all of my blogs and YouTube channels. And so I hope this helps you at least understand how you can streamline some of your workflows and processes and put things in place. Because I feel like, um, again, as a program manager, I know that organization is king and being able to understand what you need to prioritize and what doesn't need to be prioritized is really, really important. Important. As entrepreneurs, there are so many ways that you can find to streamline your uh, workflow, but as long as you're creating content, 
That is the most important thing when it comes to content creation, whether it's on YouTube or on your blog or other platforms. One thing that I will say is that understanding how you can even like tweak your processes a little bit will definitely help you save time and be. If you guys want more information on how to streamline your business, I can create more videos on agile methodologies and whether or not Kanban's or sprint methodologies work better for you. Um, honestly, that's gonna take your business to the next level if you're there already creating consistent content. Kanban is better suited for uh, solo entrepreneurs who are just starting out who don't have a lot of time to dedicate to their businesses versus sprints are for more um, seasoned entrepreneurs who kind of understand like the uh, regular cadences of content they have to create and they just need to be able to kind of um, release at a regular interval so if you guys have questions on that please feel free to let me know and I'm more than happy to create a video on it so thank you and check out these other videos as well on some of the other tools that I've used in the past uh, just so that you can have an understanding of the landscape of tools that are available to you as a content creator to organize and prioritize your content creation. That will do it for now. Thanks guys. Bye.